Y'all forget I am the leader. They want to hear from the mayor. If y'all ain't learned that yet, the mayor, not the trustees that don't do nothing, that only run their mouth. Y'all don't do no work, no work. But everything we do, we do for the people. But we under attack. We getting scrutinized in the media. For what? Loving on the people? Showing them that they matter to us? We going through the fires for y'all. Henyard calls her critics grandstanders who should get in line. Y'all should be ashamed of y'all self. Y'all black. Y'all are black. And y'all sitting up here beating and attacking on a black woman that's in power. Y'all should be ashamed of y'all selves. This is not the time for you to use the race card, Miss City Girl Tiffany Henyard. You know what? Like, in the words of the great Jay-Z, Tiffany, we don't believe you. You need more people. <laughs> Oh, I'm sure you guys are like, how did this girl get elected to a whole city outside of Chicago? She pays herself around $300,000 a year as mayor and township supervisor for a 20,000 person town that has an average income of $24,000. So think about that for a second. Plus, she has her own security detail. And so I'm sorry if I'm paying you $300,000, $200,000, even $100,000 salary a year. You can't come into meetings acting like this. Nobody knows something. Don't know nobody know nothing. Here she is starting a Dalton Village board meeting dressed like the Wesley Snipes character in the movie New Jack City. Later, punctuating her political points with the help of her own DJ. Every single resident. Pay me what you owe me. Thank you, DJ. You cannot make this up. Like, do you guys believe this? She is dressed up as the freaking fictional character Nino Brown from the movie New Jack City, which is a, such an entertaining movie, by the way. But dressing up as Nino Brown is a complete slap in the face because he's someone who gained adoration through force. And so she did this because... She was elected in 2021 and the city quickly saw that she was a hot mess. So they tried to do a recall, which is removing an elected official from office and they won the majority vote to remove her. However, the mayor and her attorneys appealed the recall and won because the town's board did not follow the formal process of a recall. And so because she won in court, she decided her first appearance at a meeting was to literally walk in there as a fictional villain who clearly could care less about their people. And so before we get into this video, you guys, if you need a HELOC of some sort or a mortgage to purchase a new home, including no income doc loans for your investment properties, please give me a call. I love to help lending in 48 states. And if you like these videos where I talk my itch, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, help your girl out so I can know that I'm onto something. So you guys, this is prime example of why you must show up for local elections because City Girl won this election by less than 150 votes. And I really try not to talk about politics, you know, for all of you, my beautiful people who stick around and watch my videos, you know that in some of my videos, I do intentionally dance around it. So some of you trolls who try to come for me, I do that on purpose, okay? But I will say, listen, you cannot vote for people. Women, stop voting for women just because they're a woman, okay? It's just so unreal that somebody like this is running an entire town. And it's unfortunate because this whole debacle, in my opinion, goes back to the poverty loop. And I, I really feel that a lot, majority of problems that people say is about race I believe is a socioeconomic problem because in lower income areas people are conditioned to believe whatever is served to them so or especially when there's free stuff involved or the person who appears flashy or if there's a short-term benefit like free gas you know this mayor even gave away free gas during her campaign which I don't think that's legal and I'm sure that even a short-term thing like free gas that incentivized people to vote for her and people could have hopped right onto Google and saw this woman was just arrested for trespassing for vehicles in 2016 five years before becoming the mayor and so you know what I talked about this in one of my uh, YouTube shorts where 
I, I do put a little of the burden on younger people because people find the time to get on Facebook, get on Instagram, get on YouTube, take an extra, swap out that two hours of swiping and replace that with knowing what the is going on would be good for you to understand why you are voting for someone. And that is the same thing with the presidential election. You know, get stop listening to all these sound bites on the internet or your friend or your cousin or your parents or whoever. You need to do your own due diligence in why you are casting a certain vote, okay? Like I said, this woman has a freaking record. And so, yes, people deserve second chances, but no, you cannot be certain things if you were a thief. Like, no, you cannot be my CPA. I don't want you being my banker. And one would think you should not be a mayor. Now we have police officers being uh, traffic police there and security detail where they're earning $13,000 a week to follow this woman around. Assembling her details shortly after being elected in 2021 using hand-picked Dalton police officers. <laughs> using a freedom of information request, we obtained the work records for six of the officers assigned to Henyard security detail at various times and showed them to some of Dalton's trustees. This is a freedom of information request we did to see how much overtime these officers are making on her security detail. Oh, wow. 162 hours. 162. Well, that's nothing. What goes through your mind when you see these numbers? Um, uh, it, it's, it's disappointing. It's frustrating. The officers are paid every two weeks, which without overtime is 80 hours. But when they're put on Henyard's detail, that 80 hours balloons to well over 100 hours, sometimes 200 hours. And in the case of Officer Terry Young last May, 303 hours worked over a two-week period that resulted in a single paycheck of more than thirteen thousand dollars corn corn corny ladies this is okay this is the thing and men you listen to this too men you are a representation of me and vice versa so i'd be embarrassed if my man was walking around like a freaking lackey like, you're supposed to be going to work as a police officer, and instead you are walking around with six other men pretending to be security detail for, like, the freaking president of the United States. Like, how does this make sense, you guys? Like, this is so freaking dumb. You guys, let alone messing with funds that are not yours, aka company funds, but let alone you're messing with city money, Fed money. Oh, no. Nah. So that group of police officers are security detail. And then we have another group of officers who are giving away $500 parking tickets. We are all here after getting slapped with various citations all of a sudden by the city. At first I thought it was $50. And then I had to put my glasses on. Elizabeth Watson quickly saw an extra zero for a total sum of $500. And if she didn't stand in this line to appear in court. After the 21st, I'll be on $1,000. Which is why hundreds packed the municipal court. That's and a lot for a senior citizen, you know, on a fixed income. And these outrageous amounts is insane. The vast majority of people slapped with the $500 ticket say they never parked. And so I walk in, get my pizza, it's already prepared. 30 seconds in and, in and run out, run in and out. Five days later, ticket in the mail. First of all, how cute was that lady? That is totally something my mom would say. Like, oh, let me put my glasses on first, girl. <laughs> She's like, I thought it said $50. You guys, we are not even scratching the surface because so many other things have come to light. For example, retaliation against business owners. You know, in this article, it says Henry instructed Williams, who was the head of Dalton's permit and licensing department, to withhold permits to Dalton residents and business owners unless they donated to her campaign. You know, that along with her putting a stylist on the books as an administrative assistant and paying her stylist $7,600 over three months once again you're messing with you're messing with appropriated funds she also created a charity and her township board transferred cash to her charity also I read that the lady has not even filed 
audited financial statements for the last two years. After several months, the town is finally gaining traction because the past week, the FBI delivered multiple subpoenas to multiple subpoenas to Dalton's village indicating the existence of a federal investigation and requested docs are due May 13. So let's see what happens. And I wonder for any future court appearances, will city girl mayor show up like our girl Fanny Willis? What do you guys think? Well, that's all I have for this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And until next time,